message begins right now. We are in a huge transitioning process right now, as much occurs on a quantum cosmic level and within each one, physical form, some more aware than others, yet it really doesn't matter, because how all correlates will be relative to that individual, not everyone else, as human aspects love to believe. Collectives are formed and held together, by those who hold those vibrations, those programs, those encodements through beliefs that make them real. These massive cosmic rays, star codes, solar codes now have a greater effect on how realities appear to be. Diamond lasers bring clarity and cut through the veils of amnesia that clouded everyone unconscious, sleeping, living beneath the veils of amnesia still. That blanket of fog rolls in to put everyone to sleep, in order to awake further, from a distorted dream state, where the illusion of reality was. This illusion is like a hall of mirrors, with fractals of realities at every turn. These lasers tune each's vision to a different frequency, therefore a different version of reality becomes visible, that wasn't accessible, easy to see before. I've written for years on merging and flipping realities blending realities, dissolving realities, constructing new realities and more. This occurs all along the way, after a huge individual, therefore collective, integration of higher dimensional light codes, in order to shift realities on a massive scale. What many do not realize is that there are always multiple dimensions, multiple timelines, multiple everything running concurrently, where all is always available, until it's not where any reality is available, yet only those open to this, using this and intentionally shifting to much higher timelines can do with this great ease. Right now, we are in the middle of this process, where merging, flipping, blending and dissolving are occurring. As we prepare for all new realities to materialize into our physical here, these realities are based upon the program codes that we hold within. Today, we are cycling with stargate codes dialing and moving us through many realities, one after the other or all simultaneously, to clear out any old ones for alignment to occur, while new program codes are loaded into the, our crystalline, plasma, new earth grid work to transmit a whole new hologram, therefore all new realities solidifying by each one of us anchoring the, our new fully from within, an immense amount of new codes, as old foggy groggy moves through, this fog always moves in, when a huge density is about clear, this high photonic activity plays with density and light, it distorts distortions even more, polarizes where something is not aligned, weights the heavy dense and elevates all through light, for some, it will activate the bizarre to become visible, and felt, until full integration has occurred, moving through plasma gateways, Passageways is weird to the human aspect for a while, until each learns how these passageways work. As the fog, foggy groggy lifts, new energy will emerge from within, new inspiration, new focus and clarity. These diamond light codes bring laser focus to all who know how to utilize this, key code. On a quantum level, each can focus all of their energy as love as higher self beings and activate realities to start to form, then focus their energy in the waking state to accomplish what's already been done in the other dimensions, higher lines. By making it an actual reality here, this new clarity simplifies all, where the old unconscious distractions fall away, where those things don't matter anymore, because they no longer serve a purpose in creating and supporting your current, higher versions of realities here you start to realize what's truly important and how much your energy, actions, thoughts and contributions matter here. You start to realize that reality is subjective and what you decide it is, from deep inside of you. A huge part of this process is actually looking at your whole reality and deciding what you are willing to keep as true, what you are willing to support through what you feed your own precious, beautiful, magnificent and powerful energy into. You have to decide what truly matters and which version of Earth you want to live on. Your human, ego, aspect will choose old Earth, because it fits into boxes, belief and appears to be safe, even though this is the opposite of what is true. 
it doesn't matter, because the human aspect will succumb to fear instead of taking a chance on what's not visible, then you, your higher, highest aspect of you will jump and embrace the invisible, be ready and willing to go for it, by listening to that knowing that's deep inside each one of us, that knowing already knows, so the head doesn't need to know, or have proof. The hows don't matter, because you just know. It will be and already is. And you just have to hold that knowing and allow your realities to come forth, the opportunities, the ideas, the support. Your highest aspect of you will choose new earth, totally ready, even if there is a little bit of hesitation and fear, it's not in control, it's dissolving, ready for a more awesome reality, a more magical and amazing reality, a more unified reality full of love, freedom, peace. Ease and joy that supports everyone ready to, your highest aspect of you already lives in these realities, so when you expand your own consciousness into these realities and stay there, you get to bring your body through too. Your DNA can recode and rewrite all, it can reconfigure your entire body and synchronize with your field, so that when these stargates activate and these portals, wormholes, vortexes and passageways open, you can just walk through, the more multidimensional each becomes, the more portals, vortexes and passageways there are, with many running simultaneously, so traveling each one takes everything we've got, holding the physical in place, while anchoring a multitude of all new realities here, stabilizing all of these new codes, sharing the light encoded data to awaken others to how all of this works too. This is just a part of what gatekeepers and grid keepers do, cosmic portals to all new realities. This is me, this is you, this is all of us doing this with everything that we are here. Access to all of the other dimensions is earned, through a purification process that each go through. It's through clearing our own distortions ourselves, not projecting these out, not holding on to them not playing them out in the physical and fine-tuning our own vibrations to the highest in every moment here. It's by being pure in every exchange, where our purest essence is the one that we live from and it takes a lot of focus and power to hold the highest in place, especially where others are not as respectful, kind, responsible, caring and considerate yet, by each of us holding the highest place, space from inside, we no longer cater to the old. We no longer allow the old to play out, continue, we require everyone comes purest place too. Ego is a narcissist, that is distorted, can't be reasoned with or convinced, because it likes to fight, place blame and argue from an unconscious place. It functions from a distorted place, that is not love, that is disconnected still. It likes to keep things going, it can't let go, move on, it loves to impose push or pull, take. Because there's a distorted sense of power and need to control, instead of respecting each other, honoring each other and functioning from the unified heart, the energy is heavy, whereas higher love is light. These passageways and recent pull flip is a powerful one, because these ultrasonic frequencies, cosmic rays, immense solar activity, all work to awaken and show each where the density and distortions are in their own reality, world. From within, the ego will fight with everything or it is that out, using every tool that it can, outer and your inner narcissist. To manipulate yours, others emotions, using emotions. Yet as each transcend the ability to be controlled in this way, as each exists from their own higher self aspect soul heart, Manipulation tactics do not work, because they become blatantly loud, obvious and obnoxious. And all one has to do is say no. And not allow these scenarios to play out anymore. It is that simple. Human aspects complicate everything with stories and all that energy that needs to clear the physical body vessel in order to actually shift. We just shift our consciousness and let the rest fall away, dissolve and refocus our energy on what truly matters as divine pure source light and loving purity essence is here. I love you. We are anchoring, integrating and moving through to come out all normal in our realities here. Powerful photonic activations, 
clearings, integrations and recalibrations still prominent as new programs are loaded into our grid working systems now. Happy magical everything, honor your body, your realities and you, Lisa Transcendence Brown www.awakeningtoremembering.com P.S. Here are some previous writings on flipping, merging and blending. You can search my archives at any time to access years of supporting information on our multidimensional evolution and how all occurs, what the weird and bizarre means and more, as all plays out infinitely for us all. End of the message. Much love to all of you soul sisters, brothers. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get notified moment by moment. Watch DNA Awakening previous videos for a universal understanding. New subscribers will updated with the latest articles and informations. We hope this channel has helped you discover where to start on your actual spiritual path. It's a good karma to put a like, comment, subscribe and share with your beloved ones. Leave your suggestion in the field below. All the love to you. Beautiful soul.